Do I make a right-handed layup on the right side and a left-handed layup on the left side? Or do I get all jelly with it? Everyone wants to get all fancy on the court because they feel like it looks good. But you know what looks good? Putting points up on the board and not missing layups. When I was growing up, I idolized Michael Jordan. So I always wanted to go up and under and finish on the other side of the hoop. New shoes, new number again. New poster. And new face on the poster. Look at this, the wraparound from Shaquille O'Neal. That was what I thought looked good and what I thought made for a great player. Nowadays, everybody wants to be like Kyrie Irving or Steph Curry and finish at the basket with a little sauce or spin on your layup. Irving gets in the paint, scoop layup, he banks it in. How Steph Curry was finishing in a variety of ways, a most spectacular finish. The game goes through trends. The trend when I was growing up was to do what Michael Jordan was doing. The trend today is to follow what Kyrie Irving or Steph Curry are doing. But we have to be careful what we work on because these trends come and go. But the fundamentals last forever. They last forever because they work consistently. It simply doesn't make sense to spend tons of hours in the gym working on something that you might get to do once a game. Might get to do once a game. Why not instead work on the things that you're gonna do over and over and over again, game after game. Look, you can go on the internet and find hours and hours of video of guys doing these jelly layups or doing whatever kind of fancy moves you want, but they're clips, small segments of the actual game. The truth is you'll have very few opportunities to actually execute those hours of practice it takes to perfect that move. Before you work on all of the fancy things in the game that you feel look good, make sure that you have your fundamentals down pat because those are the things that you're going to have to do repeatedly game after game after game. So the message is this, take care of your fundamentals, then build out into all the things that you feel will make you look good on the court. Because it's your fundamentals, not all that fancy stuff that's going to keep you on the court. All right, I hope you found that 60 second lesson helpful and can use it to improve your game. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button down there and visit mybasketballteacher.com to become a student of the game.